Well, what's this whole process like for you? I think you guys had workouts this morning on campus. Uh, what was it like going from there, putting on the suit immediately, and then coming down here and talking to all us and kind of unofficially kicking off college football? Uh, it's definitely a surreal feeling being here and definitely excited to be here and blessed to be here. You know, we had workouts at 6 a.m. this morning, which nobody else did, but, you know, that's part of our process and I think what sets us apart from everybody else. But, you know, had to take a minute after those workouts to cool off so I wouldn't just be sweating in the suit. Okay, we'll go here on the second row. Good morning. Would you mind kind of just starting at by talking about the, the atmosphere, what the excitement level of this team, and what you guys are feeling in the locker room and trying to build off of last year's success? Um, I think the word that I would use to describe all that would be uh, confidence. You know, there's this confidence, certain confidence in or in the uh, locker room and throughout the whole facility and program, you know, that we're ready to get to the season. Uh, we're putting in the work and we're ready to showcase that. On the front row, right side. Hey, Will. Uh, AP instead of AP and Kelly, as we see at Syndicate Radio. Will, was that the biggest moment for you, catching that touchdown last year against uh, Kentucky? And what can you tell us about the quarterback situation at Vanderbilt? Yeah, I think definitely that was my biggest college football moment so far in my career. Uh, that was a big win for us and a big game. Uh, quarterback situation, you know, we got A.J. Swan, who's set as a starter right now, but uh, he's going to keep working. He's got to earn it every day, just like everybody else. Um, we got a bunch of guys after him that are very capable and that we do trust to fill in spots if need be. Front row here. Uh, Chris Farblin, KCOU 88.1 FM. Uh, playing in the SEC, you go against the best players in the country. And of course, you had a big year last year, uh, 776 yards, nine touchdowns. I was going to ask, so far in your college career, what is really, who's probably the best corner that you would say you've gone up against in a game? Um, there's been a bunch of good ones. Being in the SEC, you know, everybody's pretty good. Um, I, my freshman year, I didn't play against him that much, but um, J.C. Horn, who's on the Panthers now, he was really good. Last year, uh, Chris from Mizzou, he was here yesterday. He's really good. I played 7-on-7 uh, seven seven with him in high school for a year. Uh, Cam Smith from South Carolina, he's really good too. So there's a bunch of guys. You come from a football crazy state, yet you went to Vanderbilt. What drew you to Vanderbilt, and what's been the best thing that you've experienced there? Uh, coming out of high school, Vanderbilt was my only Power Five offer, so I took it and ran with it, and now here I am. But um, best moment is probably that Kentucky game, just the feeling after the game of getting that win in the locker room and the excitement. You know, on the aisle, second row. Will, what have you seen from AJ and his growth from being a freshman last year to now, and how important is it for your offensive production that not just you and him, but the other wide receivers and him are on the same page right from day one. Um, and him, you know, I've seen a lot of improvement uh, on the football field, of course, and getting stronger and doing what he's got to do there. But um, from a leadership aspect, uh, he's really improved there. He's more vocal. He's holding meetings. We're having film sessions. We're on the field doing stuff, working chemistry with him. Uh, definitely confident in him and excited to have a second year with him to build that chemistry and showcase that. Uh, the receiver group, I feel like, we're one of the more underrated groups in the country. We got guys you might not know about yet, but uh, coming on this season, I feel like we all put the work in to showcase that. And there's a lot of guys, Quincy Skinner, Jaden, Gamarion, uh, Davion Walker, who's a young guy who I think uh, everybody in our group, I feel like are at the top of the SEC. People might not know it yet, but I think this season will show that. Second row. Will, when you open up uh, against Hawaii to kick off the season, you guys will be the first SEC team to, to open up 2023. Kind of how excited is this group, how excited you are to have all eyes be on you that Saturday? I'm um, definitely excited, you know, getting that week zero game. Uh, everybody's just antsy, ready for college football season, so everybody's going to be tuned in, I feel like. And being the first SEC team, uh, I think uh, we're looking forward to it and trying to start off the season with a good note. Left side, third row. You talked about the momentum that Kentucky win at Kentucky, you know, built for you guys. Just, just what is it about going against a team like Kentucky and obviously the respect that you guys had um, to achieve that? What did it kind of do for you guys mentally? You know, I think any week you go, uh, we're playing in the SEC, the best conference in the, in the world. Uh, you're going against top talent, no matter who the team is, Kentucky, Florida, Georgia, anybody, you're going to be playing the best people, best players, best athletes. Uh, you know, that momentum from that game, you, it's, you saw it, it carried on to the Florida game with a big win there. And I think it's just going to continue to grow and carry us into this season, too. 
front row. Uh, last year, you guys had a lot of back and forth the quarterback. I think you saw a lot of AJ Swan, Mike Ryan, and a lot of games, even in games, you're going back and forth the quarterback. Having AJ back this year, is there a benefit now to having really the same quarterback and having having the same quarterback for the whole season instead of going back and forth? Yeah, I think there's like a stability uh, aspect there. Having the same guy, you know, I think you look, we've had Coach Lee and we've had pretty much the same coaching staff uh, since he got here and being able to have that, it creates more chemistry within. I think the better the chemistry is off the field, the better we will be on the field. You know, having AJ come in his second year, not only are we more confident in him, he's going to be more confident in himself to go out there and do what he needs to do. Right side, second row. To follow up on that continuity to be now in the third year of the coaching staff. Yesterday, of course, the announcement that Clark's going to be around for a while. Just how important is it to, to keep building on that continuity and the ultimate goal of what you guys are trying to build? Uh, you look at all the greatest programs in the world and uh, throughout history, their coaches have been there for a while and they've been doing it for a long time. I think that's very important. You know, Like I said, building chemistry off the field is going to lead to chemistry on the field, being able to communicate effectively and really get, uh, get done the things you need to get done. We have Will for a few more minutes. Any other questions? Okay. Left side, fourth row. Dan Peck, ESPN 1067 in Auburn. Any games on the uh, schedule you've got circled that, that would mean a lot to you uh, this season? Um, I think every game is pretty much circled. Uh, looking forward to playing everybody. You know, there's certain games, of course, where you're going to have more, not necessarily more attention to, but you might be more excited for. You know, getting, I personally like playing the bigger teams, the teams that are up there in the rankings and stuff like that, the Georgias, the Tennessees, uh, playing against South Carolina, teams like that. I'm looking forward to them all. There's one thing you enjoy the most about playing an SEC game. What is it? Oh, the atmosphere. It's crazy. Yeah. Going in those uh, big stadiums, especially teams like Georgia, Tennessee, Bama, you know, just especially those night games, it's unlike anything else. We have two final questions. First one here. Uh, Will, what do you try to do uh, this past summer and right now to get better as a wide receiver? I mean, you had some chances in the past, but this summer in, in particular, what are you trying to do to get much better as a wide receiver? Um, I think the thing that's been a big difference uh, this summer going is uh, I've been getting more grades from scouts and things like that. And I've been looking uh, at the weaknesses and trying to turn those into positives going into this. Um, certain things just within my game that need to be improved. Final question. What role do you think the city of Nashville plays in recruiting for Vanderbilt? What do you tell folks about having the opportunity to live here? Uh, Nashville is a great city, obviously. It's an up-and-coming, growing city, continually growing. Uh, Vanderbilt, in general, is in the middle of the city, so you've got all these connects from everywhere. They live everywhere in the country. There's CEOs that live here. There's all kinds of inter internships you can do here. So there's that in terms of like not talking just straight football. Uh, on the business side of that, there's a lot of great chances to meet people and connect and grow yourself. Will, thanks very much. Appreciate it.